Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So late last week, I posted a video that if you are running Windows 10, after installing the updates released from the 20th of September this year for Windows 10, or any later updates, there may be problems where taskbar elements might flicker and also problems that may cause system instability. Now, unfortunately, that is not the only problem that Microsoft has confirmed after the latest Patch Tuesday updates have rolled out for Windows 10 last week. And once again, over on Microsoft Docs on their known issues page, they have confirmed another issue where Microsoft says that after installing KB5021233, which was the Windows 10 Patch Tuesday update that rolled out last week, some Windows devices might start up to an error with a blue screen, and that's the dreaded blue screen of death. And that error is 0xC000021A. Now, apparently, the uh, blue screen um, is caused between a mismatch between two different system file versions after installing the update last week. And um, when that the, the system gets confused between those two different file versions, um, it might cause signature validation to fail when the cleanup occurs. So that's when the dreaded blue screen of death is generated. And as many of you may know, sometimes when you restart your device after an update, you see a cleanup in progress. And that's just the operating system um, deleting old updates, temporary files, and so on, just to mention a couple of examples. So that's the problem. A blue screen of death um, is caused between a mismatch between two different system file versions that might cause signature validation to fail when the cleanup occurs. Now, if you are experiencing this issue, thankfully I'm not, but if you are, if we just head over to um, Microsoft's known issues page, um, I've already described the problem, and yeah, they actually give a temporary workaround until they roll out a fix. Now, it's quite in-depth, and it does require you to head over to the Windows recovery environment. So if you want to try this workaround, I will leave a link to this post in the description so you can just follow these steps provided by Microsoft step by step, and hopefully that will resolve the issue. And um, Microsoft does mention though, if you do um, apply that workaround, it is not recommended to follow any other workaround than those recommended above. And then the next steps, they are working on a resolution and will provide an update in an up and coming release. Now, um, we are not expecting to get a bug fix, optional bug fix C release update rolling out near the end of this month, December, because of the holidays. So um, if Microsoft doesn't roll out an out of band update for this issue, before the end of this month, then we could possibly see this resolution roll out um, on the second Tuesday of um, January next year, 2023. But I hope they resolve this sooner than later. And the affected platforms are Windows 10, 22H2, 21H2, 21H1, 20H2, and there are no server versions of Windows 10 that are affected. So if you have installed KB50212233, then just making you aware that that issue you might receive an error with a blue screen may occur on your device after installing that update. And if you don't come right with that workaround, then obviously we'll have to wait for Microsoft to roll out that fix sooner than later. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.